Hey everybody, it's Tom here from the Belfast Music Academy and I'm just going to teach you how to play with or without you uh, by you two on the guitar. Um, it's going to be very easy and very quick and it's, um, it's good for beginners and people who are just um, coming out of the beginner stage into the intermediate stage as well. Um, what, I'm, what you're going to learn about in this um, is how to play the D chord and a variation of the D chord called D sus2. You're going to learn how to play A and a variation of that called A sus2. Um, B minor, and we're going to do G. What you're also going to learn is how to do harmonics for this bit. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's really all you need for that song. Um, the bass and drums and, and the vocals pretty much carry that song. So the guitar is just there as a sort of atmospheric sort of thing, as is true in much of U2's music. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'll just show you how to play this bit first of all. Okay, so two of these chords should be chords that you've kind of learned before um, at the, the very first sort of chord, um, very first couple of chords that you would have ever learned. Um, so we're doing the D chord, which if you, if you don't quite know it, works like this, get your middle finger, you stick it on the second fret of the high E string, and then on the G string you go to the second fret there with your index finger, so you're kind of skipping a string in between, and then on that string that you've skipped, what I want you to do is put your finger on the third fret, leaving your little finger free to, if it needs to go here at any point, or whatever. Okay, so that's the D chord. Now later on we're going to learn the D sus2, which is simply uh, removing that middle finger. Um, so yeah, looks like that, but of course you want to keep your fingers up here. Alright, okay. So, D, and then this one is D sus2, okay. And then the A chord, um, quite possibly the first chord you would have ever learned, but I'll just revisit it here for you. Um, all you're doing is taking your ring finger, putting it on the second fret of the B string, second fret on the front for the next finger of the, the next string and then again okay and then for this one we're only strumming from the second string and the same goes as well for D okay and if you want to do A sus2 the way to do it is to take off your ring finger and it leaves you with that sound okay and then the B minor what that is is if you know an A minor ship you you take an A minor ship, you move it up two frets, and you add a bar on the second fret. Now, if you haven't learned about bar chords, um, what you could do is just play your A minor ship, which looks like that, up two frets, and then only strum those three strings. Um, but if you want to strum all the strings, then you have to put that bar on the second fret, and your finger kind of works a bit like a capo. So that's the same as if we had a capo on here. We could do this. And it sounds the same as a B minor. So, because of the fact that we're doing the D open and the A open here, and the G open later, what we need to do is make sure that we can do that bar there if we want to strum all the strings. Okay? So we've got the D, A, B minor, and then we're going to do G. Okay, so G is one of those um, one of those chords that if you're a complete beginner, um, hopefully this will help you. If not, uh, we've got a tutorial on how to play G and C chords. So I'll just show you this very quickly. Index finger, second fret, uh, A string, middle finger, third fret of the uh, E string, and then this this next one is optional, but I tend to play it this way. Um, third fret of the B string um, with your ring finger and then in, uh, little finger goes on the third fret of the high E string. That's the way I play it. This finger is optional um, or you could use that for there, whatever. Personally I like to have all four fingers there. It just makes me, I don't know, it just feels, feels right. That's the way I learned it. So we got D, A, D minor, That's really all the chords that you know that you need to know to be able to play along this song. Okay, so the way I'm strumming it is quite simply just down, 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 down. And 
And as we always tell people, if you make a mistake or if you find it hard to sort of change from one uh, chord position to another down here, don't stop this hand from going. The main thing is, as long as this hand keeps going, um, if you make a mistake here, it's okay. For example, I'll, I'll take a wee while to change from one to the next one you'll see. sound too bad. It doesn't sound perfect but it doesn't sound too bad either. So you can definitely experiment with that if you're having trouble changing chords. Okay. So um, <clears throat> the other thing that I said I was going to show you, um, the other real main technique is doing the that bit there. Okay. Kind of helps to have the chords on in the background. So if I just set up a new look here. Um, I'll play these uh, chords for you and then um, I'll play the, the little sort of harmonics on top of them for you. So. Okay, so what I'm doing there is just lightly touching the string so that it doesn't give you this. And I'm on the seventh fret and I'm on the G and D strings, okay? So the G string, when touched very lightly, but not, uh, not enough to give that, gives you that. And it also helps if you kind of go on the metal bit a wee bit, okay? So, Okay, so with that, you can sort of put together the song. Thank you.